Today we're going to talk about the endocrine glands. Uh, you'll note that all the endocrine glands as a whole in general are glands, so they're kind of mushy and they all secrete hormones and those hormones are all secreted into the blood and then they're going to circulate, circulate around the body and be picked up by target organs. So the first gland we want to talk about is the thyroid gland. You can see that it sits right up here in the neck and it kind of looks like a butterfly. So it's got two general pieces connected by a little short uh, piece here called the isthmus. Um, then if you look on this model here, this is like a really big model that came out of my throat, but it's like giant. Um, there's one half of the thyroid gland. On the back side of the thyroid gland, you're going to see two little nodules here. Those are called the parathyroid glands. Um, can you get in on that? Okay, the parathyroid glands typically come, there's going to be two on each side, but you may have them in sets of eight or whatever. Sometimes they're not even touching the thyroid gland, but in general, they're going to be on the back side of the thyroid gland. Then you also have the thymus gland, and the thymus gland is typically not seen in most of our models because remember the thymus is a school for lymphocytes and it teaches them uh, how to recognize self from non-self and so we're going to do that very early on. So adult models would not need a, a thymus. It actually atrophies and just turns to just kind of like fat and connective tissue and you don't even see it on the adult models. But when you do see it, it it's just this little glandular organ that just hangs down over the heart. So that right there would be your thymus gland. Then we also have um, some glands up in the brain that are endocrine organs. First one you have is the pituitary gland. Notice that that kind of hangs down from the uh, brain by this little stalk right here, which is called the infundibulum. And if you open it up and look in a cross section here, you'll see that the hypothalamus is right here. So the pituitary is actually got a, a pathway between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. And you'll study all about that in lecture. Um, the other gland that you see in the brain is the pineal gland, and that's easily recognized because it has this long tail that takes it into the third ventricle of the brain. You can also see the pineal if you uh, put the brain back together and take the cerebellum off. You can see the pineal gland um, if I can get it back together here. You kind of pop it up right here, and it's not real easy to see, but it sits right here on top of these four little butt cheeks right there. That's called the corpora quadrigemina. And right on top of that, you can see a little gland. That would be the pineal gland, and that's the one that secretes melatonin that kind of uh, helps you regulate your circadian rhythms. Is it coming in there? All right, yeah, it's the... The two, point the two little dots out again. Okay. Use the, these are the sup superior and inferior colliculi, which together are called the corpora quadrigemina. And then right here, that together, on, it's, on, it's on, split. But right there, that would be the pineal gland. So you've got the four butt cheeks, and then the pi pineal gland sits on top. So that's going to be in the posterior aspect of the brain. The pituitary gland is always going to be anterior, oh, and it hangs off of that... Uh, <laughs> sorry, it hangs off of that uh, infundibulum. All right, then you have the adrenal glands, and adrenal means near the renal. So the adrenal glands are going to be, there's your kidneys, that's renal, and the adrenals are these two little caps that sit on either side. So you've got a left and right adrenal gland. Then you also have the pancreas, and the pancreas sits right in here. If you actually look in a model that's not been taken apart, the stomach would be right here, and then directly behind the stomach, you have this long kind of tadpole-shaped gland, which is the pancreas. Notice it has a nice duct system on the inside of that. If it's a duct, that means it doesn't have anything to do with the endocrine gland, but that is the pancreatic duct for the exocrine portion of the pancreas, um, and you'll study more about that later on. Um, and then the... Uh, final glands that we have to look at are the gonads. So that's the ovaries and the testes. In the female, you have two ovaries. Both of these are going to sit in the, well, the ovaries are going to be in the pelvic cavity, um, and they have these tubes that are not actually connected to them, but that brings, joins them with the uh, uterus. Um, we'll get into all that in the details of the unit on reproduction, but that's your two ovaries right there. Let me just kind of turn it sideways so there's an ovary there and then one there. And then in the male, the gonads 
are the testes. And so you have a pair of testes. There's one there, and there's one uh, right in there. So uh, that's the male reproductive organs or gonads, the testes. And we'll study more about those in the reproductive system. But that's all for the different organs.